good to run earlier in the day. It'll probably be worse later. Yeah, probably be a lot more torn up. Yeah. Have you raced against some of the, the top kids that you know you were racing against today throughout the year? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I raced my several different places. That kind of give you some confidence. You know what you're up against a little bit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so how does it feel to win a second year in a row? Pretty good. I kind of wish I had somebody closer to me so they could push me. I was looking to beat my time last year, but I couldn't quite push myself hard enough because I had a girl last year. She was right by me the whole time. So. So you, did you take it out pretty hard today then? Yeah, I went out pretty hard just so I could get out of the crowd, but it felt pretty easy at first. The second mile was definitely the hardest. How, how was the footing that first day, 800 meters? Um, it was it was all right. I mean, there was a few potholes here and there and mud spots, but that was about it. You're kind of used to running alone in front too, so is that you kind of know how to pace yourself and mentally yeah, how to deal right. with it? It's really hard to push myself, like I said, but yeah, I'm used to running out front. No. Uh -huh. Did you run here all four years? All four years? Or you're, you're not a senior yet, right? Yeah, I'm a junior. junior. Okay. Yeah. How, how, how much does the experience of running at this place help? Um, it helps pretty, pretty good because I remember last year I thought the stretch or the finish was closer, and so I didn't like kick it until I knew I was close enough this year. I think as you were saying last year was a bit of a closer race, right? Oh yeah, uh huh? The girl who finished behind me, Olivia Tice, she was only like a few tenths of a second behind me, maybe a second. So how did how did you change things this year when you're by yourself coming down to the finish? It was a lot harder to kick it in. I just had to motivate myself, but it's still kind of hard. And it looked like uh, I think you got a couple sisters out here running, right? Yep. Yeah, I just saw two of them finish. But. So team-wise, you're on a pretty strong team that has a you know, chance to do really well here. How, how much does that help um, to, in training and you know knowing you're racing for more than just your own individual self? It helps a lot. Yeah, it's fun, and we're look, really looking to take a title home for uh, Hart and be their first state title in any sport. So. I'm pretty excited. We hope we can win. We're, we're kind of got the program good kind of out of nowhere. The what? The program getting this strong oh. kind of out of nowhere. Um, well, my dad kind of started a middle school team, and he got a lot of kids to go out, and then pretty soon they started going out in high school, and he would, like, write them running charts and stuff about how many miles they should run over the summer, and we got a few kids hooked on to it, so we're running now pretty well. How long ago was it that he started the middle school program? Um, I think two or three years ago. Okay. Yeah, maybe four. So do you and your uh, sisters train together then? Yep, we train every day over the summer through the winter together. It's fun. We like to push each other. And um, are you going to race like Foot Locker or anything after this? Or? Oh uh, yeah, I'm going to Foot Locker this year. It'll be my first time. All right. So you're excited about that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous too because I'll have real competition there. All right. Well, congratulations today and uh, great job on a uh, second title. Thanks.